Our first topic in our mythology is about sets. This is discussed in grade 7 sa first quarter nila. Pero lumalabas din ito sa college entrance exams, sa college, and even sa board exam. Hey there! This is Teacher Janelle of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. We upload educational videos from Monday to Saturday, so if you don't want to miss any of our videos, make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon. I will be your teacher for Mathology, where we will discuss math topics from grade 7 to grade 12. In Mathology, I will give you math techniques, math tricks, and math tips to ace math. Let's go! And lastly, Ampalaya or bitter gourd. And our last group is composed of dogs. We have these puppies, these two puppies, and lastly, the adult dog. Did you get it correctly? Very good. From the set of pictures that we had, we divided them into four different sets. We have the set of birds, set of people, set of vegetables, and set of dogs. Now, let's formally define what is set in mathematics? In mythology, we will have math terms kung saan i-define natin ang mga mathematical terms na kailangan yung tandaan. Our first math term is the word set. A set is defined in mathematics as a collection of well-defined objects that follow a certain common rule. The words that we need to take note here are the words collection and well-defined. Let's have an example para mas maintindihan nyo kung ano nga ba ang set. For example, we have a set of mathematics books. We can say that this is a collection because we have the books and it's also well defined because of the word mathematics. This simply means that science books, mapi books, and other books do not belong in this group because it is stated that this set is composed of mathematics books. Another example, we have a set of students who scored more than 90% mark. This means that only those students who got higher than 90% of the total number of items belong to this group. Last example, we have a set of male anime characters. This is also well defined. Aside from it has anime in its, as its description, it also has male. This is so detailed that this set is only composed of those male anime na characters. Now, you might ask, Sir, ano po yung mga example na hindi set? I will give you some examples na hindi siya considered as set. Here are some of not an example of a set. First, we have a set of beautiful girls in the campus. 
This is not considered as such because of the word beautiful. Beautiful is not well defined because beautiful is opinionated. So, hindi lahat ng maganda para sa iyo ay maganda rin para sa ibang tao. Another not an example of a set is a set of excellent scientists. This is also a collection or a group because of the word scientist, but it is not well defined because of the word excellent. Since excellent word is opinionated, hindi lahat ng excellent para sa isang tao is also an excellent sa ibang tao. That's why it's not well defined. And lastly, we have a set of popular actors. This is also a group, but it is not considered a set because it is not well defined because of the word popular, right? Because popular is also opinionated and hindi lahat ng popular para sa iyo ay popular din para sa ibang tao. I hope you can now distinguish what is an example and not an example of a set. Let's have another math term that we need to define when we talk about sets. This word is the word element. Each member or object is called element of the set. It is represented by this symbol, which means, or read as, is an element of or is a member of. Pero mas common na ginagamit yung words na is an element of. Let's have an example. Suppose set X is composed of elements A, E, I, O, and U. We can say that A is an element of set X. Also, E is an element of set X. Likewise, I is an element of set X, O is an element of set X, and lastly, U is an element of set X. So that's how we use the word or the symbol element. We will also have math note. You need to take note of this when we study mathematics. Our first math note is, symbolically, we use capital letters to represent a set and small letters to represent each member or element of the set. Basically, kapag nare-represent natin yung set, dapat ginagamit natin ay capital letters. Kapag yung element naman, dapat small letters. Let's have an example. For example, we have let X or set X be composed of all consonants of English alphabet. So we can list down all these consonants of the English alphabet like this. We will have set X is equal to a set containing B, C, D, F, G, H, J until X, Y, and Z. Or that's how we write a set. Let's have another math term. We will have the word cardinal number. So cardinal number is the number of elements contained in the set. So bibilangin lang natin kung ilan yung elements ng isang set. Let's have an example. For example, we have set S containing the elements 30, 45, 50, 55, and 100. Then the cardinal number of S is 5 because we have 5 elements. This is written as N parenthesis S or this is read as the cardinality of S is 5. We will just count the number of elements contained in the set. Let's have another example. We have set X is composed of all consonants of English alphabet. Let's list down it first. We will have B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K until X, Y, Z. Since we have 26 letters in English alphabet and we have 5 vowels, we will just subtract it. So 26 minus 5 is 21. Therefore, the cardinality of set X is 21. Let's have last example para mas maintindihan nyo. We have A is a set containing all prime numbers between 1 and 10. To know how many elements or the cardinality of this set, let's list down first the elements of this set. We will have A is equal to 2, 3, 5, and 7. Take note that prime numbers are the numbers with factors 1 in itself only. That is greater than 1. So we will have 2, 3, 5, and 7. Since we have 4 elements here, therefore, the cardinality of set A is 4. Before we end this video, let's have our SAMA 3. Kung saan isa-summarize natin kung anong na-discuss natin in this episode. So I introduced you to sets, 
kung saan we define the words set, elements, and cardinal number. That ends our mythology episode for today. If you learned something from this video, please like and share this video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe! Bye!